and second to last every week, so who is that? Um, hey, Mr. Cab, GG. Hi! <laughs> so what did you think of that scene? I I'd like to thank Crystal Saver. I think that's Crystal Saver anyway. I think oh, I was watching a... Uh, uh, yeah, I, I think it was a random percent tournament the other day, and I was watching it, and I said, Hey, that's really clever. I should, you know, yeah, if I'm ever in deep trouble, I should really try that. And, um, well, yeah, yeah that, that's really my awesome first attempt. And it, yeah, um, Saber actually came up with that when he was, uh, he was the first to beat uh, Zelda 1 damageless, and that was a strat he came up with. And he used it in Randomizer, too. But, yeah, the, the, the whistle times out Ganon, so instead of warping, he just moves, moves a couple pixels, and you can sort yeah. of force his stun lock. It's really neat. So. Woo! <laughs> I'm still recovering over here. Don't mind me. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I, I I imagine when you're when, when it's we're down to top four. You're you've already seen one dot done. You got to be you're a little frantic in that Ganon fight. I'm sure. Yeah. Just just so. a little bit. I I don't have the art of the stunlock perfected just yet. Anyway, but that was like oh my god. And yeah, I, yeah. The dot done kind of said oh no. <laughs> GG to yeah, Boletta as well. Yeah, Boletta, um, Boletta found the bow way before, which uh, helped a lot, a lot. Yeah, how many Paul's voice did I have to stab today? <laughs> and then I had to not get that blue ring, but then it was good I didn't get the... Whatever, it worked out. We're here, we're here. Um, yeah, I mean, what did you think when you finally got to that bow and you were like, oh, it's all the way up here. Someone could have gotten this a while ago. There was a little bit of that panic. Uh, there was a little bit of, oh, good, I don't have to dig 7 and 8 and find it. I think it was more that. Sightown's in the Ganon fight now. Let's see how he does. And he takes him down. Nice. Yeah. He, no, no stun lock. He just got him. He just got a hit in at every warp, basically. So I, I get... I didn't see it. Did Fryteeth get the Triforce out of seven, or did he uh, bail and switch and just decide to go for six first? I don't know if anyone noticed. I wasn't watching. Yeah, yeah, I was watching the. Uh... <laughs> okay, Fryteeth did did get the level seven Triforce, so so now he just needs uh, he just needs one more, and he'll and he'll get it here. But uh, this will be his. Uh, this will be his last uh, week in this battle royale, because uh, because Sightown is done. Get your GGs in chat for Sightown uh, finishing a third place with an official official SRL time of Yeah, this was a pretty trolly seed as far as the overworld went and getting around. Um, more than the bow, what really irked me was like I I tried to get over to the Armos, the you know the vanilla Armos first, and just got walled on the way. And then yeah. that of course ended up being the ladder, and I was just like, oh no, that was the item I thought everybody's going to have. Yeah, uh, Saitown got that right away. It took everyone else a while to get to it actually, but uh, it was. Uh... <laughs> Yeah, Buletta, I think, just got the first... I, I want to say that's the first sub-hour in this Battle Royale. Uh, generally, something in the, the 60 to 70 minute range has been in first, so... Yeah. I By the time I found the bow and I knew I was still in the 50s, I, I, I was actually feeling pretty good. And uh, I also forgot I only had four Triforces instead of six when I got it. So I was like, oh, sweet, I know where the Goma is in five. Let's go, let's go. Uh, where was level eight? Um, eight was the tr dead tree in northeast Hyrule, just south of the secret spot. Yeah, uh, that's right. And everyone, but everyone who saw it except for Sidetown took a pass on it. Sidetown gambled right into it. It's, it's less that I took a pass on it, and more I was I was key blocked. I I couldn't go into it. 
Uh, where um, was one? One was uh, one was uh, vanilla second quest level four. So, uh, the power bracelet was in eight, so Saitan was the only one who saw level one. Yeah, I was like, that that would do it. And uh, you get your GG to chat for uh, Fry Teeth. He is uh, he has uh, dot quit here, so he has forfeited out. And we're joined now by Sightown, uh, GG. Hey, thanks. Now, tell us about uh, tell us about diving early into eight. It was an interesting play. Well, um, with with six hearts, red candle, sword. The only thing I really felt like in ladder. The only thing I really felt like could buffer me too bad is if I was either going to run into red bubbles and they and they were slow. I didn't know what they were at that point or um key blocks right so I, I don't mind digging eight actually i don't mind digging eight at all but uh just because there's two items and just so happened the second item was the power bracelet right next to the triforce so it worked out really well for me but yeah what i mean it didn't work out well for me is my final overworld spot that wasn't a rafter recorder it happened to be the bow so that killed me yeah oh no <laughs> Boletta was first by far to the bow, and it took everyone else a while to get up there. Um, but because, and yeah, you you did level three before you finished the rest of the area, so you saw it really dead last. And uh, it, uh... Oof. yeah, it's a fifty. I think it was the fifty ninth minute. I got the bow, and when I saw it, I was like, "Oh, I'm done for!" Like I was sure I was out. And uh, yeah, it was that was nasty. I think I saw it in fi minute 54 or something in that range. Oof. God, that's terrible. We're, we're awful. What are we doing we here? We suck at this game. <laughs> <laughs> I, mean, I mean, as I said during the race, like, it's, a second, it's a mixed second quest overworld. So to clear that entire area, you need power bracelet and recorder. You usually don't go up there right away. But <laughs> that was the play. The, oh, the play. Yeah, and I even... I took like a peek up. I saw all the, the blue Lionels. I was like, ah, I only have two hearts. I'm not doing this right now. Mm -hmm. and the, the blue Lionels were a huge wall, to, along with the whiz robes, they're doing anything. Ugh, yeah. I I didn't feel like I played bad, but boy, it didn't it didn't feel good at the end. I only had a four, four minutes from my sixth Triforce to get into nine and be done, but holy crap. That was crazy. Yeah. Fry Teeth taking a pass on joining us for a post-game interview. He took a lot of deaths. I, I think he had kind of a frustrating time with us. Mm. Um, <laughs> it says six deaths, but how many times did I up A with like half a heart? I mean, right. oh my goodness. Ugh. I'm going to keep saying that for the next hour, so I'm just going to let go of the push to talk button now. Yeah, I mean, it's a, something that struck me with this seed, like with, the, with this flag set, you say, well, it starts with six hearts. It can't be that bad, except red brings force to nine, and it's second quest money. So <laughs> so if you want defense, like the, the, the weeks when I finished second, it was always like there was either a money-making game or a rupee boss to farm to get to get the blue ring. Because oh. <laughs> this, this flag set can be really tough. I was so excited with the early power bracelet. I was like, oh, man, I am going to be able to just destroy this one. And Well, it gave you an alternate route that at least, it did. It, which at least got you third. It was good for third, but uh, obviously, obviously seeing the bow earlier would have been better. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, I think I was mentioning uh, to John earlier, like, I, I walked into eight, saw a locked door, saw a zero in my key column, had, and was like, damn it, and left. Walked into six, saw two <laughs> locked doors, saw a zero in my key column. I think I found my first key in this race like 20 minutes in. That was my like panic moment. That's why you saw me save and then go to level six because I'm like, I, this this key is gold. It is literally gold. It's more valuable than toilet paper right now. I'm going to save this thing forever. <laughs> oh, Well, we survived another week. Yeah, uh, over on uh, Randomania Four right now, we have a one of the, there's a tournament race between uh, Sausage Link and uh, Chrono JJ, and we got another one uh, coming up later at 11:30 Eastern uh, between uh, G 
Sharky and the Alan Halfley at on Speed Gaming Two. So those are the random percent uh, uh, tournament races. Uh, it, you you guys are both in that in that uh, tournament, as am I. Is it what's it like? You know, we've been doing all these random percent seasons and switching back to this flag set. Is it, does it throw you off a bit? Only if I don't play a practice round ahead of time in between each one. Mm -hmm. So, like, you go back into random percent, you better have a practice seat in you before you run the next race. That makes sense. <laughs> Valetta saying a couple weeks ago she got all eight Triforces <laughs> because uh, she just forgotten the flag set. <laughs> I did the same thing twice in this tournament during this Battle Royal. I think um, it was the early and practice yet set And yet you're flags. in the top three. That's well, how good Sightown is. He can make terrible mistakes and still not be <laughs> that bad. Yeah, well, I I didn't make that mistake today, and I and I got in by the skin of my teeth for the next round. So here we go. Yeah. So the uh, so uh, Bleda, uh, Mr. Cab, and Sightown will be seeing this flag set again, uh, same time uh, same time next week, Tuesday, 9 p.m. Eastern. So uh, so uh, be back for that. And thank I, you for doing the announcing and everything and everybody yeah. behind the scenes. Yes, thanks. Yeah, no problem. I, I had a really fun time with this uh, with this Battle Royale flag set, so I'm happy to, happy to uh, be on comms to, as a, for the uh, final few weeks of it. Uh, so thanks to, uh, thanks to Crimson Avix for uh, doing the restream, and uh, thanks to, uh, uh, thanks to uh, Fury and TGE for, the for splitting up the tracking. And... Um, and uh, thanks to Boletta for the flag set, and thanks to our, our runners uh, for the race. And uh, yeah, it looks like we're going to go over and join that uh, join that match between Chester and Drasha on Randomania 2. So uh, let's go enjoy that. Yeah, I guess we should probably go do that too. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Uh, just for everybody here who's still watching this nonsense, yeah. Uh, not having any keys forever, having to pay bombs to the mugger. This was terrifying for a long time. And when I saw Buletta finish, I think she was, she was done at 50 something minutes. 57. So it was after I got the bow, after I got the Triforce out of five. And then I was like dashing to seven. And I said, oh no, somebody's done. I might have been done with seven by then. It was like that time frame. Or like as I was walking into nine and I was just like, oh no, uh, this is bad. And uh, I knew I had to like charge ahead because uh, last place goes home. If I was right behind her without the bow and the just the sheer number of Paul's voices I was killing. Uh, yeah. That's, that's randomizer for you. Sometimes somebody checks the right spot, gets the right item, and they get way ahead. Um, it's, it was in the back of my mind. Like, you saw me pause a few times throughout this whole scene, just like, all right, where do I go now? Where do I go now? Oh, yeah, I mean, that that's the thing, right? When you, especially in something like this, you go in and you find a Triforce piece, you grab it. And... uh at the end, you know, I still wanted to find one, but uh, certainly my overworld was, like, at this point. And it's really good I didn't try to find one now because it was Power Bracelet blocked. I have, though, I've got the two RAV spots. Uh, one can The candle spot I died on that screen, it was it's second quest seven a million times. And the two ladder spots. And then I would have said, oh, no, I need a Power Bracelet to find one. And uh, dove into seven or eight anyway. Uh, at that point, it was sort of, well, I know where 7 is. We're going in. Because I knew uh, from the er I, the early exploration of the core, I knew it was just the um, just the Goma block at the staircase that was in my way. Yeah, the bow was was big in this seed because, like I said in the interview, there were a lot of Paul's voices. Well, and, well, here's here's what happened, right? I found, I think I found level eight, and I didn't even mark it because here here's what was in eight. 
starting room and a locked door or it was like something like that and however it was set up i don't think i could pirouette it wherever i was actually actually no that's right it wasn't there it wasn't there it was like you came in this way or maybe it was this way and and whatever whatever door it was that was locked going down i think it was that and it was just i i can't go in we're done and that's why I didn't go into eight. That's literally the only reason I didn't go into eight was I didn't have keys. Um, I want to say four was the next dungeon I actually found. Maybe I found six. No, I think I found six first, but six was also key blocked early on. And then I found four and you saw me say, it's always four. And I got the recorder which just helped me out immensely for the rest of the game, just getting around the overworld, even though I was like caught up here. And you saw that really long walk to get to the, uh, the arrows. Cause I didn't know where else to go. I, I see like arrow shots down here in the woods, but there's nothing down there. I could have, I guess, screen wrapped from six and gone down. Oh my goodness. Yeah. I mean, um, so you saw what I did there, right? I saved the game after buying the potion. So if I uh, died again, I would retry, have my potion, and be able to continue. Uh, in all seriousness, I mean, yeah, Crystal Savers Recorder Strat saved this run. So uh, I, I owe Crystal a drink, whatever that means to Crystal. See, so yeah, I uh, went found four. I think I, I bombed a couple of screens further to the left on a whim, because I knew I only had two bombs. And this this goes back to check Death Mountain as soon as you can. Uh, found level two. I think I was mad that I couldn't find an item in level two. I was glad that I stuck around in it long enough because I went down last. Uh, what was the item in two? I know it was on like the tracker at some point, but I don't remember it. Either way, you know, I got the Triforce, and at that point I had the recorder, so I knew that that was the big thing for leaving four as well. I knew I had the recorder. Uh, if I needed to find things later, I could come back. Let's put the bow up here under the white sword finally. Found two. What? I, I think then I like explored this whole area. Like somewhere in here, I found five and seven. Seven, explore that whole middle chunk. And then it was like, well, can't do anything. Leave. Five, explore it. The good thing about five, right? I got the white sword after stabbing a bunch of pulse voices. So immediately my combat goes up. Uh, I found that staircase. Well, knew I needed the bow. Like that, it's the good thing and the bad thing when you find that. It's like, you know, okay. Okay. We, we have this. Um... General Goose, I owe you a link from earlier today. We, we found it. That is the artist of this shirt. Was it uh, Kai Get Sudo on Twitter? K-A-I Get Sudo. Sudo, S-U-D-O, like the Linux command. So yeah, after that, uh, just kept exploring. Never found level one. It's a power bracelet spot. We just know it's there now. Uh... Found three, got the raft. That's the good thing about finding the bow, because if I didn't find the bow, I would have been checking raft spots next before going to level eight. Because then I, once I found the bow, I knew I didn't have to find level one anymore. That's the single biggest thing that happened. So uh, yeah, that was that. Uh, this was a best of. So the way the whole Battle Royale system worked, General Goose, was uh, you, you started with 10 people and the last person went home every week. So the top nine advanced, but then there were only nine left. So the next week, the top eight advanced and the ninth place went home. Uh, this was the round of four, so the top three advanced. I, uh, I came in second. I think this is like the second or third week. Maybe it's the second time in three weeks I came in second. But, uh, oh my goodness. That happened. So uh, more points, 
because I think it's after eight of these, they take the, the, the top of the point standings and make the last round. So this means I have points. Well, this means I have even more points. Uh, there's only been two of these, and the first one I didn't get any. This one now I'm, you know, okay, we're up there now. Uh, if we can pull this off again next week. If you're saying Buletta, if she was a little short on uh, skill and just lucked into the bow because I was keeping up anyway. I mean, obviously, what, what's the gap here? It's still like seven minutes, so I shouldn't. I'm not talking too much. I'm just like riding adrenaline to for analysis, and that's a terrible thing. Yeah, she finished seven minutes first. Uh. We can talk about probably it took me two or three minutes to come back with a potion to kill Ganon. So you can make the argument she really only won by four minutes and then I choked away three more. Points! Oh my goodness. It wasn't that super quick. Because realistically, the moment I found level three, um, it was right after three that I, I went over, wasn't it? Or what did I just get in that much trouble? I feel like I found three late. And as soon as I found three, then I went and I found the white sword. and Well, not the white sword, the white sword item, which was the bow. How many times in this whole thing has it been the white sword item now? I think this is like the second week in a row the bow was the white sword item. Because I know there was one of these where we were joking about it. Maybe it was the latter. Yeah, the first week of this, let me let me pull up let's pull up the SRL page, uh find Zelda One Hacks, which has actually made its way all the way up to like the t almost it's almost caught up to SMW as far as uh, most races held in this. So the first one of these is a week six, one, two no, no, go the other way. One Two, three, four, five, six. March 3rd, I think, what we're looking for. We're looking for a March 3rd race. It's March 9th? No. February 3rd? Was I that far off? I, I, I'm trying to find the first week of this. There we go. Yeah, it's March 11th was week one. Uh, it wasn't barely for week one. Um, but finishing 15 minutes off the pace was not pretty. Uh, it's just that then 6th, 7th, and 8th also finished like 10, 15 minutes later. There were two forfeits at the bottom of all that just because of that. That was a trolley. I forget how trolly that one was. Um, I mean, the video is on YouTube. Go go down and find it in the rando thing. I should actually like maybe make a playlist for each of these, just to have it separate. Um, then King Doll, because he was like several minutes behind even everybody else the first week. Uh, oh my goodness! So then a week later, that was that's a random race. Then Dark Falls fell. Rigged tournament, yeah, right. And John Tabin, John T A Bin, who uh, was calling the race tonight. Homer J Smash, I think, dropped last week. I think the funny thing about last week was I I was only two minutes off the pace. I was close to finishing in first, and. Uh, Yeah, just, I really thought Buletta was out last week, and then Homer J. Smash just got completely wrecked by by level 9. Yeah, the one with uh, the troll with the ar silver arrows, 
uh, or, or like the, everything with that. That was actually the first week of Firestarter, where it was like you went into level six and nobody bombed down. Just nobody bombed down, and that was the only way to get to the ladder. You had to do that. And like in most people's maps, you probably had like every single bomb wall bombed. All right, I'm going to stop monologuing here. Uh, we're going to watch Chess Jerk and Dracia in that random percent tournament on uh, Randomania 2. I'm going to breathe and probably get a little extra rest tonight because I've been beating myself up staying up too late. Uh, I think they announced some Mega Man 4 tournament details if that's the thing you're interested in. And other than that... Tomorrow morning, I think we're going to be streaming Spirit Island a uh, day before its early release on Steam. Uh, you've probably heard me talk about Spirit Island as a board game for a long time and saying, like, I really like it. They've been making a PC version. I think it got Indiegogo right after their expansion got Kickstarter because you can only do one Kickstarter at a time or something. But, um, yeah, either way, they gave us the go-ahead to start streaming. So we'll actually... Hopefully, we'll teach some people that game because it's it's one of those board games that the first time you play it, it will take like five hours. You will be sitting at that table for four or five hours learning this game. And then the second time you play it, it will only take two or three hours. And then you'll start getting it done in 60 to 90 minutes if you're really lucky, maybe 45. It's one of those like it's one of those board games that you uh, you need to appreciate board games to like it it's not for the faint of heart all right i'm gonna let you watch video games uh rowdy scott bear you're still here looking up here welcome back to the bagel cage thank you for the resub you get a dad joke i'm gonna not let this go by the boards rowdy scott bear what is a new way to cure a sick computer new ways to treat a sick computer treat it with modem medicine Ah, because it sounds like modern and who wrote this book? I'm again. 